Hey guys, and welcome to part 2 of Mining Keyblade Smashers Nintendo E3 2017 Predictions. Now if you missed the first part, there will be a link to that in the description down below. Otherwise, let's get right back into it. What is your next mm. prediction? I'm gonna I'm gonna go go straight off the deep end here and uh, say oh. Metroid. Oh a legit boy! Metroid game. And we'll get to this one in a minute, but we'll talk about Metroid at first. Mother 3 English reveal. Oh boy! Oh, that man. is what I'm gonna say. Um, we'll start. I guess we'll can start with Metroid. Um, after, I mean, they saw the backlash that people had with Federation Force. As much as they said, you know, give it a try, and in the end, I hear it wasn't all that bad. But um, people have been begging for a new Metroid since you know other M wasn't all that good, or at least that's general consensus. I didn't think it was all that bad, but. Uh, and Federation Force got such poor reception. I think they're going to want to recoup their name with Metroid and go with a completely new game. Even if it's just a trailer, just, you know, showing Samus, like, coming out of a shadow or something. You know, that would get people super excited. And as much as I'm not a big Metroid fan, I would, I would definitely be happy to see it. And I think it's going to be a prime game. So not a not a traditional platformer. I 110% agree with you. This is the year to reveal a true new Metroid game. Again, Federation Force apparently it wasn't bad. It was actually, you know, some people really liked it, but it's not the Metroid game that people wanted. And I actually think that this is Retro Studios new project. Uh, I agree. As, as much as people have said or as much as, you know, things have come out saying like, "No, we're actually working on a new IP." I am call I am calling complete bull on that. We are getting Retro's game. It's going to be a new 3D Metroid in high definition. We got Samus. We got all, everything you'd want in a Metroid game. But it's not coming this year. No, definitely not. It's going to be 2018, maybe even 2019 is what I would say. Oh, like, yeah. I, 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 can, I can see this being way, way off. Like, I think at the earliest holiday 2018. Yep, yep. They're definitely, I think they're definitely going to reveal it. I don't think that they're going to say much about it aside from coming 2018 or 2019 or something like that. Yep. That is, that's the most I think they'll give it. But just a taste, just maybe, a maybe a little need. bit of gameplay or even just a trailer like Samus fighting Ridley or something. Just a taste would get Metroid fans just so excited. Because I mean, how excited did like us Zelda fans get when Breath of the Wild happened? Like even just that small, tiny little trailer they had. Oh, I, that was enough to get me excited and waiting for three years, and it is as amazing as I had imagined. So the same thing would happen for Metroid fans if Metroid Prime, I don't know, four or just just a, a reboot of the series happened. I, I I will crap myself if we <laughs> like if we if we get a new Metroid game revealed at E3 and it's like an actual Metroid game, even if it's just like a 15 second little tease, just you know. Here, chew on this for the next year. That's all I need. Mm -hmm. Give me a new Metroid game. Definitely going to get revealed at E3 this year. It's definitely Retro's project, and it's definitely going to be amazing. Now, another bombshell that you just dropped right there, and this was this was on my predictions as well, Mother 3. I think... I, so there's a couple of reasons why I think it is finally time for this. Mm -hmm. We got Earthbound Beginnings two years ago. Mm -hmm. I think I actually thought we were going to get Mother 3 at E3 last year with it being the I think it was like the I want to say it was like the 20th anniversary or like the 15th anniversary of no I think it was the 20th anniversary of Earthbound I think that's what it was so there was yeah. that Lucas got revealed no was that two years ago I'm getting my dates mixed up the point well, is Earthbound Begins yeah. was revealed before that Lucas was in Smash Brothers and I thought I, I thought it was really going to be on the Wii U, but of course the Wii U died an early death. And they're like, okay, listen, the Switch is going to be amazing. Let's save it for that. So, And that's that's why I think they, uh, they didn't release it on Wii U, because they knew Wii U was dying. And not only do I think Mother 3 is going to be real, and I'll get to this in just a second, um, but I think they are going to do a collection pack, kind of like the Mega Man collection pack, and do Earthbound Beginnings, Earthbound, Mother 3. Okay. Or Earthbound 2 or whatever. Whatever they want to call it in America. I don't care. Yeah. But uh, the reason I think that they're going to do it, in addition to, um, you know, revealing Earthbound beginnings a couple years back and having Lucas in Smash. And I know this has been a couple years since it happened, but the year, I think it was 2014. Yeah, I know what Smash, you're talking about. Yep, it was 2014. The, <laughs> and when they did the Robot Chicken parody. Oh, yeah. Um, 
the moment where it's like, come on, Reggie, give us Mother 3. No. Yeah. I think that was a huge teaser that eventually we are we are planning it. We just, you know, we got other big projects on the horizon, like Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey. Well, Breath of the Wild's out. Splatoon was a huge success. Mario Odyssey's coming. I think it is time for Mother 3. Well, and then there was even that interview with Reggie recently. I don't know if you saw this, yes, but... Uh, that too. He, that was so confident. He basically just said... Well, someone asked him, like, well, what's the future for the Metroid series? And, you know, where's Mother 3? Well, ask me in a year and we'll see what's going on. That, yeah. Like, that, like that, the writing's on the wall right there. Like, Mother 3 is getting announced. Now, I actually had a different way of it being announced in mind. Your way actually sounds much more realistic, but here's what I thought was going to happen. Mm -hmm. It wasn't going to be revealed in their spotlight, but rather during one of their Treehouse streams. They were going to reveal the virtual console... It was going to be available as soon as they announced it, and Mother 3 was going to be there, alongside the big ones like, you know, Mario World and Link to the Past and all that stuff. But mm -hmm. that's how I actually imagined it happening. Just, yep, here you go. There. Go download it now. That's what I thought was going to happen. I can see your thing being way more likely. Yeah. And I, I, I could do either way. I honestly don't care, but, I mean, Earthbound Collection would be kind of great. But, um, yeah, I definitely think that Mother 3 has its biggest shot this year it's been so many years since it's been released i think it was 2006 it was originally released yeah it has been let's see 11 years now since it came out and all we have is that uh, unofficial fan translation they're aware of that we know they're aware of that yeah and i think that they are finally ready to say all right you've been waiting for so long here it is i am tired of predicting this Friggin' game. I am tired of saying it in every <laughs> Nintendo Direct prediction, every E3 presentation. I'm tired. Just give it to us already. Come on. It exactly. would be so, so many people want it. Come on, guys. Mm hmm. For sure. So, what do you, now, what do you think about the prospect of Kirby? So, I know they revealed that spe that uh, new Kirby game, some sort of new Kirby game was coming back back uh, in the Nintendo Direct in April. What do you think about the prospect of showing that at E3? So, the, so, yeah, Kirby's a bit of a weird one because we actually have three new Kirby games coming out this year, being yes. uh, Blowout Blast, um, uh, another one they haven't revealed, and I forgot the other one, but there's three uh, it's Kirby. The, it's the RPG one. Right, 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 have, right. I have that on my 3DS. Um, Kirby, Team Kirby Clash. Okay, yes. Um, I don't think we're getting a Kirby Switch game this year. I don't think it's nope. getting revealed. I don't think, like, that is something for E3 at least next year. They've, again, they've got a lot of big stuff coming out already. Kirby is, again, I think it's another one of their really big franchises. Kirby's kind of mm -hmm. come into its own. Ever since um, Triple Deluxe on the 3DS, there's been a lot of just really solid Kirby stuff coming out. Well, heck, even since uh, even since Epic Yarn happened, you know, we hadn't had a had a true Kirby game since the, since the uh, what was it, the Nintendo 64? And then... Uh, on the Wii, we got Epic Yarn, followed up by Return to Dreamland, which is my personal favorite Kirby game. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, a couple years later, 3DS got both Triple Deluxe and uh, Planet Robobot, which are both solid games. Yeah. No, we're so, de definitely nothing on Kirby. Um, I don't even think we'll get those... Th if the 3DS games are shown, it'll obviously not be during their spotlight because that's Switch stuff. They mm -hmm. might highlight those games, like the ones that we already know about in the Treehouse, but... That's the most I could see for Kirby. Okay, that's fair enough. Maybe get it. Maybe I can maybe see them like giving a name for the new Kirby one. Or yeah, okay, yeah, that, that that's true. I could definitely see them showing off like again, like in the treehouse. Maybe like, oh yeah, by the way, here's this new Kirby game coming out the 3DS because it is it is coming out this year, right? I think they said it was coming out this year. Okay, that, that's what I thought. Um, if it is, then yeah, I could see them. Again, it'll be during the Treehouse. I don't think it would be during the Switch presentation. Oh, well, obviously not during the Switch presentation, but during the Spotlight. I don't think it would be during that. Right. So, I am actually going to go... So, I'm going to jump back to the Switch for a second. Fire away. Pokemon Stars is not getting shown off at E3. No. I think it's, no, it's not. I think it's real. It's not getting shown off at E3. Pokemon has never been revealed at E3. They've shown off, like games that like if it's a new game coming out and it's already been revealed they've given us new trailers like the x and y trailer you know years back we're not getting yeah. pokemon stars at all at e3 that is going to be completely up to the pokemon company on when that gets announced well heck even when uh, even when pokin was still in development you know we got regular updates on that none of them were at e3 true not a single one of them 
and you know it's being a second to party developer and a very uh very snippy one at that they are they don't like they want to they have as much control as they can over it i think they'll they'll maybe do like a pokemon direct a couple weeks afterward or something that's that's assuming stars is real i i still don't know what to think about that See, i mean on the one hand i want it to be real and I, th- I can definitely see them doing it, but on the other, Sun and Moon is still relevant. Well, s- and they might not want to overshadow it. Exactly. That's why I. So Pokemon Stars, I definitely think it's real. I don't think it would be shown off. I don't think it would be released this year. I don't even think it would be shown off this year, just because again, no. Sun and Moon is so new, and it was a really good game. But you They're don't great want games even. Yeah, you you don't want people pissed off at you for releasing a. A, obviously a better version of the game, better graphics, probably new features, right after Sun and Moon came out. Within a year of it coming out, no, you can't do that. The reason I think it is real, and, well, this is a little off track, the animations for ev- the walking and running animations for every single Pokemon that came out, that got leaked, that, of course, they couldn't put it in the 3DS game because that that is pushing the 3DS to its limits already. Right. There is no way that they would just throw that away. That is... That's going to be used. Like, that has to be used. I mean, I think that's definitely possible. What I personally think, I think they were intending to make it more like Pokemon Yellow, where your your main Pokemon would walk or fly or etc. with you, unless it was like, you know, a swimming Pokemon. Mm-hmm. But um, I think that's what they had originally intended it for. I mean, it gets, stuff like that gets put on the cutting room floor all the time. But to have so many Pokemon... I, I agree that I don't think they're going to want to waste all that effort. Whether or not that's going to be in a, in stars, I don't know at this point. But I agree, it's definitely not an E3 thing. No, it's not. All right, do you have any more predictions? I have a few more. Do you have any more? I have a big one that I'm saving till the end, and I think you know what I'm talking about. I actually have a big one too. Well, actually, oh, I have two big ones. I know which one. Oh. You're, I have. I know which one you're talking about. So I'll go on to my big one now. That I know you're. I know it's not the one you're talking about. Fire away. Pikmin, Pikmin four. Actually, yeah, I was going to give a give Pikmin a shout-out. I didn't consider it a big one, but oh, yeah, Pikmin. See, this is a big one for me. I I, I loved Pikmin 3. Um, so we, we've known for a while now that uh, Miyamoto has... Miyamoto, Miyamoto even said like a long time ago, like, oh yeah, Pikmin 4 is almost done. Pikmin, hey, Pikmin is not Pikmin 4. I'm sorry. No. It, it looks cool. It looks, you know, fine. It's not Pikmin 4. We are getting... We're definitely getting a full reveal of it, and it's coming out this year. I mean... I could see it. Miyamoto also said that he's Bowser Jr.'s mother, but um, <laughs> but I mean, I think that they are going to tr- uh, do in the treehouse. They are going to talk about Hey Pikmin. Yeah. Uh, as for an actual legit Pikmin four, I can see them revealing it because that was like a, a year and a half ago when he said that, and we have had zip on it. Yeah. So I can definitely see them revealing it. I don't think they are this year. I think they're going to do it with Animal Crossing and maybe Kirby next year. Or if Metroid is coming out, that too. Because that would give them a solid list of second tier games that, and uh, one A tier game that would, you know, keep them, you know, relevant. It would it would win them E3 as long as Sony doesn't outdo them. Yeah, but, so, so like, so uh, here's the thing. I It's kind of a good and bad problem because I think Nintendo's going to have a lot of good games this year. But I don't I want them to have too many because I want them to be able to carry that momentum you know, into 2018 and into 2019. I don't know. I, I, I feel like if Pikmin 4 has been complete for so long, I feel like it's time to release it. And I I could see this like, you know, late summer, early fall even. Like, I, But I could also see them, you know, holding off until next year just so that they aren't you know, cannibalizing their own market so that they're not flooding their market with all these, you know, really good second tier and first tier games. Right. I don't I don't the, know. I, I think it could come out this year. Now, one big thing that I, I have noticed about Pikmin, I'm not as big of a fan of the franchise as others, but I do very much enjoy them. But they also have a lot of polish. I have never, ever encountered a single glitch in a Pikmin game. Yep. As a result, I think they're taking their sweet time with it so that not only they can keep their momentum forward next year, but to keep it as polished, gorgeous, and uh, big of a world as they possibly can. You know what? Like Now that I think about it, I think you're right. I, I think it would be... I could see this being like a good spring title. 
possibly a spring title yet. Um, but I mean, I don't think I've ever been able to say that about any other franchise. I've encountered glitches in Smash, in Zelda, Pokemon. I have never encountered a single glitch in Pikmin. No. They're extremely polished. Me neither. I, I mean, Pikmin 3 is the game that I have the most experience with. I've only actually, I've only played Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2 at friends' places, like, long time ago, and I'd like to go back and revisit them, but you're right, they are extremely polished experiences. Like, Pikmin is Miyamoto's baby. Like, that is his game. And he, like, th that is, like, we saw it with the Pikmin shorts. He loves the Pikmin franchise. And again, I think they want to make this game as close to perfect as possible. So this game get, I think this game would get a lot of time in the oven. I, oh, I'm, so I also, I'm so torn. I could see it this year. I could see it as easily next year as well. I don't know. Now, I also think that they do want to mainstream Pikmin. I think they want to make it a Mario, Zelda, Pokemon, Animal Crossing, Fire Emblem Pikmin. Well, that, that's I, I what think they, want, they to want to do that because, I mean, considering how much exposure they've given it, at this point, it is a second tier franchise. It, back in the days when, you know, Brawl happened and I, I liked playing Olimar, but it was a third tier franchise yes. back then. It has grown to be a second tier franchise and I think they're going the Fire Emblem War route and trying to make it a A tier franchise. Because it is one of the three major franchises that Miyamoto has worked on. Mario, Zelda, Pikmin. It is such a good franchise. Like, it, 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 like Pikmin is really something special. And this is a game that they got to get right. Again, the release date, I'm a little spotty on it. But it's definitely getting revealed this year. And it's going to be, you know, the traditional Pikmin style that you think. And it's going to be big. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, before we move on to, to the big one... I actually I have, have a, a few couple, small, I have a few smaller ones as well. So yeah, go on. I have a couple of quick things to sh to throw out. Um, this is just kind of a you know a half half assed if you will <laughs> thing, but uh, Pokemon Tournament being revealed as a port, but with all that exclusive Japanese DLC packaged into it. Really, that um, is one thing that I think might happen. I don't know. The other one, a little bit of DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. One so, or two more characters. Maybe Diddy. So, okay. So we'll talk about Pokémon first. Um, mm -hmm. I definitely think that is coming to the Switch at some point with all of the arcade DLC in Japan. I don't think it's getting revealed this year. I, I, I really think that Pokémon has had such a big presence lately with, of course, uh, Pokémon Sun and Moon and then Pokémon Go has still been, you know, going fairly strong. And we just got that new Magikarp mobile game. Um, but yep. there's been a lot of Pokémon just kind of in people's faces lately. I don't think we're going to see... I actually don't think we're going to see anything Pokemon-related at E3 this year. Exactly. And that's why I said it was more of a more of a half-ass than anything. Yeah. I, it could be. It's... The one part of Pokemon I think might actually be at E3. I don't expect it. It's something I... I, th I guess you could say it's more of a wish list than anything else at this point. But uh, I think it will happen. I don't think it'll be at E3. But if it is, I'm not going to be, you know, surprised up in arms about it. Yeah. And, uh, the I other see thing, it as a potential option. Yeah, it, it, like it, it, anything's possible. I don't think it's that possible. But yeah, no. Um, Agreed. And Mario Kart Eight DLC. You know what? I, I could see that. I could see that getting talked about in the in the uh, treehouse. I don't think they would. I feel like Mario Kart Eight Deluxe is such a complete package already that I don't feel like I don't feel like they need to add that much more to it. That said, I would love for them to add a lot more to it. It'll never be complete without Diddy. That is such a weird... <laughs> <laughs> that it, is... it was bad enough when Mario Kart 8 didn't have Bowser Jr., but it also didn't have Diddy. That is such so a weird omission two characters that, that have been in, like, so many games. Like, why? No, I, I, Diddy I is such see, a... Like, I don't know, Petey Piranha coming, too. But You know, if, if, if we do get some Mario Kart 8 DLC, I don't think it'll be anything major. And again, I think it'll just be something that kind of pops up in the treehouse. Like, oh, hey, yeah. We're going to play some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but we're going to show you some new footage. And I could even see a few more battle arenas, like maybe bringing back a few old ones. Where is my Pipe Plaza from Mario Kart DS? I love that stage. Maybe if we are extremely lucky, if they if they decide to bless us with additional characters, maybe they'll add another non-Mario character. Because Kirby. they have add, added, at this point, they have added Link, uh, they've added Villager and Isabelle, and the Inklings. So I think one more could help balance out the roster a little bit. I'm kind of hoping, personally, for Olimar to be a character. 
I think that would be really cool. Uh, all that would have would all awesome. of Miyamoto's babies in it. Yeah, but All Mar would be awesome. I actually think the more likely one is Kirby and his Warp Star. It could be. Th those mods have got me thinking. I tell you. Yeah. Uh, so, but uh, it. I think that it would. It is. I think it's more likely than Pokken, for sure. I, I think it's, uh, yeah, I agree. I think it's more likely than Pokken, but if it, if it is shown, I don't think it'll be during the spotlight. I think it'll be during the tree dance. Right. I can agree with that. So, I have, depending on who, I, I think this one's fairly big, but it's not huge. And, and again, this would be something that would be shown off during the tree dance, I think. The, this is uh, leaked, supposedly, a little while ago. The Mario mm -hmm. and Luigi Superstar Saga Deluxe. Uh, 3DS game, and I guess Bowser's Minion or whatever. I think that will actually get a, get revealed during the Treehouse. I can see it. I actually would probably be pretty happy with that, because I generally like the Mario and Luigi games. I don't play them too often, but Bowser's Inside Story is one of my favorites on, uh, on DS original. Oh yeah, ba Bowser's Inside Story and Superstar Saga are amazing games. Those, th those are my two favorites, and uh, I, I would actually say Superstar Saga, I think, just edges out Bowser's Inside Story. They're both amazing games, but I'm super pumped that they are actually remaking Superstar Saga, and I, I think it'll get revealed. That leak came out a little while ago, and I feel like that isn't a game that would need much done to it to be updated. Like, it's already an amazing game already. There's and not like, much like wrong with, with it. Uh, like with Pikmin, I mean, I've never experienced a glitch in that either. Like, it's uh, yeah. it's fairly polished as well. Again, it's an, it's an RPG. I mean, it's not hard to, to polish those, but those are... Pretty polished games. Nope. Very good. I completely agree. All right. Do you have any more smaller ones, or do you want to move on to the big one? Do you have any more smaller ones? I do not. All right. I think it's time for Super Smash Brothers. Oh, yes. <laughs> for Nintendo Switch. Oh, what? You weren't thinking about Chibi Robo Ziplash DLC? Oh, no. I can't believe I forgot about Chibi Robo. <laughs> no, nah, Super Smash Brothers <laughs> Switch. Uh, I mean, Chibi Robo, I guess, could be in it but he won't be. uh obvi obvious first off inkling and ice climbers oh yeah definitely there that'll be their first reveal ice climbers for hey we we couldn't have them last time but here they are now and inkling because it's the fresh new kid on the block and they're ready to fight yeah to totally agree and i actually this is i think something you said in our arms discussion i think we're gonna get an arms wrap yep i think it's gonna be Springman just because he seems like he's gonna be the main character um, Man, like, but, I'm torn between, because Springman's the main one, but Min Min seems to be an early favorite. I like Min Min. I haven't, I don't, I don't own a Switch currently, but I have played a little bit of the ARMS Global Test Fire, and Min Min's probably my favorite character. Oh, oh But, yeah. as far as, as far as Smash goes, there is a, a secondary char character or villain never gets in before the main character. Cur yeah, Mario right. and Luigi were first, Link was first. Yoshi was first, Fox, Kirby, so on and so forth. Springman and Ribbon Girl, I think, are the two characters on the box art. Yeah. And it's going to be one of those two. Maybe maybe have Springman with Ribbon Girl as an alternate, because yeah. they can they can use the same arms too, right? Yeah, no, I, like, I agree. Like, it's, it, if it's going to be an arms rep, it's going to be Springman, maybe with like Ribbon Girl as like a costume swap or something, or like the whole like Bowser Jr. Roy situation, where like yep. they play exactly the same, but you know, they're different characters. But yeah, I, I don't think we will get many new characters, but I do think we will get a fair amount of new content, mainly from the 3DS, you know, upscaled to the Wii U, or the Switch version. And I think we will actually get a completely new mode. See, I agree with the with the new mode. Um, as far as everything else, uh, stages, I think we're going to get some HD ports of the of the 3DS ones, like Magicant and, uh, and yeah. Paper Mario and stuff like that. Characters, I do have one other character I think is going to make it in. Oh, okay. Um, I think that the full roster's final four characters include it will be Ice Climbers, Inkling, okay, five, I'm sorry, five, Springman, Wolf, and Decidueye. Oh, man. I, I, I'm modifying my predictions from the last time I did it, but I still think Decidueye has a very high chance because he was the fan favorite. Rowlet was the fan favorite for Sun and Moon. We've never had a true archer character. We are currently not, we currently do not have a grass type. And we also, his design and moveset is not only unique as Greninja's was, but they also have 
so many things that we have never had on the Smash roster before. And I think that because of his sheer uniqueness and popularity, he will make it in. So if there's going to be another Pokemon rep, yes, it's going to be Decidueye. Sun and Moon is still, of course, very big right now. Very it's, relevant. It's very relevant. Decidueye was easily the fan favorite, uh, like the whole Rowlet line. Um, definitely. I've again. never picked a grass starter until I until I played Sun and Moon. I have always gone with Fire until uh, Greninja, and I had never picked a grass starter until Decidueye. Uh, I was mostly Water. The uh, so the only times I've broken, I, I've gone Squirtle, I've gone Totodile, Mudkip. Uh, I went Chimchar in Gen Four. Um, Gen Five was Oshawa. Gen Six, um, I let Froakie was my favorite, and then Gen Seven. Yep, I was like, man. This is the best one. Rowlet's the best one. But yeah, I could totally see that. Um, I don't think Decidueye has a better chance than the Inklings do or the Ice Climbers no. do. But Decidueye is one of the top ones. And again, it is a Nintendo character. And Pokemon is a big enough franchise where seven representatives I don't think is anything to scoff at. Right. And uh, of those rankings, I'd say Ice Climbers are definitely top. Inkling being... Or no, Inkling top. Ice Climbers. Wolf than a tie between Springman and Decidueye. I think those two are probably the least likely, only because Spring Springman is really new, and because Decidueye, you know, Pokemon, it's not an E3 thing. So, but, um, I can, you know what, like, I've totally forgotten about Wolf, just because, like, it seemed like he just, ha it seemed like he was just a given for Smash Wii U, and then it just never happened. But, yeah, you know what, I think now's the time for Wolf to come back. I completely agree with that. I, I, I actually think Wolf has a better chance than Decidueye does. Um, yep. But, yeah, th I, I would love to see Decidueye again. He might be my favorite Gen 7 Pokemon. Um, of course, he's my favorite starter. Um, but he's, of course, the fan favorite overall. Um, and, again, that he would be he would play very uniquely because he's an archer, but he's also a ghost type. So there could be mm -hmm. all sorts of, you know, shenanigans that he could do, like, where he could, like, you know, warp around or, like, turn invisible or I don't know. Like, I'm imagine imagine just using spirit shackle to, like, m like either, I don't know, slow down the opponent or, like, yeah, do something spooky with it. Some scary skeletons or something. No, like, I, no. I, I would totally I, I would love to see Decidueye in this and uh, I, I would definitely main him. I don't care if he's trashed here. I would main Decidueye. Well, at this point, the only characters in Smash that actually use arrows are, are Link and Pit, and they only use them for one move. Decidueye is that, the kind of character that could literally use them for pretty much most of his move set. Well, and his final Smash could even be his uh, Z be move. The, yeah, his Z move where he summons all the arrows. Yeah. Man, uh, uh, man, now I really want Decidueye. <laughs> but um, when do you think this would come out? If it gets revealed this year, when do you think it would come out? Holiday 2017. Really? Because, yes, because Smash is usually a holiday game. It is a major IP. All they really have to do is port the Wii U version. They've probably been working on that. It's been almost two years since, uh, or no, it's been a year since, over a year since Bayonetta and Corrin have been released. Mm -hmm. They've had time to do it, and they've definitely had the Switch to do it on. So they could have just ported everything, upscaled you know, all the stages that they want to bring in to HD and started working on new characters. Plus, you know, that rumor with uh, Namco Bandai working on it, uh, being part of the team for Smash Brothers 6 and so on, mm -hmm. um, they definitely could have developed five characters. They probably were given the concept art for Decidueye and Spring Man, and, you know, they already had Wolf from Brawl. They could have ported up and... Inkling was already revealed. Ice Climbers were already revealed. So, you know, taking all that into consideration, all it really takes is some remodeling and making them look with the Smash Wii U aesthetic. Yeah, so I, I agree that um, a port, of course, does, it's not nearly as much work as a completely new game, especially with a game like Smash is already so complete already. They don't need to add much to it. And with as little as they would be adding, you know, relative to the whole game, I don't think it would take that much time. Like, they would definitely have... They would definitely be able to complete what we predict to be in the game by now. I now, don't I'll, know I'll, if it'll be a holiday title. Like, I, I agree, next. Smash is a really big franchise, and it fits as a holiday title. But I'm just, I'm scared that they're going to have too much coming out this year. Now, alternatively, this is the other spot, because I'm kind of torn between being a holiday title or them releasing it immediately afterward with just Ice Climbers and Inkling and saying... We will be continuing to update Smash with new characters and stages for the foreseeable future. 
You mean and then like, having characters like Wolf and Decidua and Springman coming later on. Do you mean like releasing it literally right after the digital event? Well, not n not necessarily right after, but maybe a few weeks to a month afterwards. Oh, okay. Well, so hmm, I'm a little see, I'm a little ah, because Arms is coming out right after the digital event, and then Splatoon comes out the next month, and we've already got Mario Kart this year. I'm just scared that they're gonna pump too much of their those are their big multiplayer franchises all right there. Well. Like, I'm... Then alternatively, they could push it back till October because they don't have a September game or an August game. Th or, that's true. They well, don't... August, I mean Mario and Rabbids, but hmm. eh, you know that's that's not going to be selling like Smash or Splatoon. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. That, like, that's definitely a very. I mean, Smash. We, we haven't seen it yet, but Mario and Smash Rabbids is would much more niche. Smash would fit right about September or October, being between June or July for Spl Arms and Splatoon and December for or November for Mario Odyssey it would fit right about there so that would be a ni that would be a smart option so like yeah, yeah here's the thing like if if a lot of these games that we've talked about are shown off and they don't they're not coming out till next year yes Smash Brothers will definitely come out this year i am just it's so weird because like we really don't know what's going on with, with Nintendo there's so much potential to show off so much new stuff because there's so many of their uh, franchises that haven't been properly addressed on the Switch yet. The Switch is being so new. And I really just, we're just going to have to wait and see what they show off because, again, like, these release dates all depend on other new games and their release dates. <laughs> exactly. This first year, though, is shaping up to be a amazing year for Nintendo. And... You know, we've got so many great games coming out this year. And hasn't the Switch already outsold the Wii U's entire lifespan? No, it is It is not no, completely it outsold it, but it is outpacing the Wii. It is outpacing the Wii, which is one of the best-selling consoles like, ever that, made. That is bananas. That is it is outpacing the Wii. Like, they are having to ship Switches by plane for $45 a unit to get them into people's hands. Like, they're, they're selling at a loss right now. They're losing money because they need to get Switches out fast enough. Exactly, and it's why I think that they have such a year planned that they are going to have, you know, titles stretched out for every month or two months for the next couple of years. I mean, obviously, they're working on stuff in the wings that we haven't even thought about. Maybe kid, something Kid Icarus related. Yeah. Something reviving an old franchise like uh, Takamaru's game, Nazo no Murasame Jo. For all we know, they could be releasing or working on so many other games but they are going to definitely have something each month or two months, and Smash kind of just fits in that one spot. Mm. I because I don't see them reveal or revealing it this E3 and then saying it's coming out next year. Yeah, oh, man. And unless maybe early, early next year, like February. Th that's but... actually kind of what I was thinking because, like, Smash is such a big franchise that I think it can sell well at any time. Of course, the Agreed. holiday title being a holiday being the best time to sell any game but i guess we'll just have to wait and see because again we don't know that much about what nintendo what those crafty bastards have been hiding at nintendo exactly i am so unbelievably excited for e3 this year but with that said just, do you have any other I thing could... any other things you want to say yeah i wish i had a switch <laughs> oh my god you but poor uh, but uh yeah, I think that E3 is not only shaping up to be one of the best E3s this year, not just from Nintendo, but from all the companies, except for Microsoft, because I don't like Microsoft. But I think that Nintendo's going to be going strong, because just how great the Switch has been doing, they have so many potential options that there's no way it can fail. I know that's kind of an omen for bad things to happen, but the Switch has just been going so well that at this point, I think as long as they keep it going with at least a few games, it'll be it'll be great. E3 this year, I'm super hyped for it. I'm gonna probably be making some reactions or at least oh, like yeah. a, an after the fact video, like I usually do because I can't do reactions normally. But what do you think about it? I this is gonna be a big year. Like th Nintendo really has to come out guns blazing this year, and I think they're gonna. I, I'm really. I, I, I have never been this excited to be a Nintendo fan. There is so much mystery behind just what Nintendo could be showing. And it's it's got me feeling like a little kid again. I am so freaking excited. And it's only, it's only two weeks away. 
It's only two weeks away. And heck, what we've talked about here, as much as we've been talking for like an hour now, like all this is just first party stuff or second party stuff. You know, they always spotlight some third party stuff too. This what is, could be coming? Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, who knows? Undertale. Maybe maybe even Undertale. But, Shovel Knight. And sh like a Shovel Knight 2. Ukulele. There are so oh. many potential even third party games that could be coming to Switch that this year. I have never been more hyped for an E3 except for like Smash. Smash is released two years ago. Yeah. I've never been more hyped for an E3. I completely agree. And again, yeah, we haven't even talked about third parties. I, I don't want to spend too much time on that because we've already exactly. been, again, been going for like an hour, but I could definitely see some third party stuff. Again, maybe, you know, like some stuff, like some like some ported stuff that like are really big already, like Overwatch or something. Uh, Square we, Enix stuff. Yeah, some Square um, Enix stuff for sure. Elder Scrolls, because that's already been confirmed. Please, a new Mega Man X game. Please, Nintendo. <laughs> I, I would love I would love a 3D Mega Man X game. That'd be great. But with that said, I think we are actually going to stop it there. Keyblade Smasher, tell the people where they can find you at. You can find me over on my YouTube channel, Keyblade Smasher, where I talk about animation, film, and games. Or you can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and now on Vidme as well. Awesome. So I will leave a link for your uh, YouTube channel in the description down below. But thank you guys, of course, for watching this feature length discussion if, <laughs> if you enjoyed please hit that like button and get talking in the comments we gotta know what you're thinking about e3 it's gonna be super hype and make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you check out keyblade smash's channel as well for all sorts of nintendo goodness all right peace out guys bye bye <laughs>